Everybody, welcome back. We're gonna build a Quake Mech today. This is set 70632 Quake Mech from the Ninjago movie line. It is a 1202 piece set. I picked this set up from a Facebook Marketplace ad ooh, a few months ago. I'll link that up here. I ended up paying $100 for this and two other sets, one of which I was able to sell for about $80. So that means that this set and the other set came to about $20, $25, something like that. So I got a really good price on this set. I'm really excited to build it up. It's been in the backlog for a little while now, and we are going to build it and see what it looks like. Right, bud? Yeah. Yep. Sun's here to help. Oh! Wow. A lot of that. Way more than I expected, and way more than my green dragon, yeah. actually. Yep. That is the biggest Lego tire I've ever seen. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think the the biggest set that I've built up to this point was the fire mech. I'm trying to remember how many pieces. Let me go look. So the fire mech had 944 pieces. So this set is actually bigger in terms of piece count. So this will be officially the largest Lego set that I've ever constructed. How about that? What? I think the other one had eight bags too. Can I see that? Can I see? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Why don't you look at that? Alright, so opening up the bag for the instruction manual. As and well. there's the stickers. We've got the manual here. Here, I have to show you something. This is at, at least the biggest tire I've ever seen. It is a big tire. Really big, thick manual here. Watch this. We go to the very end here, we have 322 individual steps. 322. So, we've got our work cut out for us. I have a feeling we're not going to finish this tonight. What do you think? I have a feeling we are. You have a feeling we are? Yeah. I think that your feeling is wrong. So my son finished the coal minifig. He's got this like hammer thing. It's his weapon, I guess. It looks pretty cool. I've always liked the coal character, the coal minifig. I think he looks pretty cool here. He's got that nice brown black color combo. His sleeveless uh, ninja outfit. Looks pretty cool. I don't like coal. Well, I do, but I don't like him that much because he's a ghost. <laughs> He's a ghost? Yeah, in the show. Oh, in the show. Spoilers, Ninjago spoilers for those who watch the show. He's a ghost, apparently. Yeah, he turns into one because the clock is too late and the clock makes him turn into a ghost. I have not watched Ninjago, the TV show, very, very much. Dad, you have to watch it. So. I have to watch it? Yeah, it's I very do. Good. It's
we just finished step 38, which is the end of bag one. And this, is, this is what we've got. Wait, wait, wait. And this is kind the of the mechanism. The mini pigs. I think that this is the cockpit where Cole will sit. Did you build the mini fix? Um, I built. No, you you built the cold mini fix. I think these are for the, this is for the arm. And this is for the other arm, and then I believe this is where the feet attach. Okay, I just gotta show you because I already love this this feature of this set. So he's got turntables, which is how he apparently controls the mech, which is just kind of amazing. It's really cool. Just wrapped up step 74, which is the end of bag two, and this is what we've got so far. I really like the the headpiece here. The build for that is pretty cool. Looks like a samurai helmet. We got these like glowing things. I'm not exactly sure what those are supposed to be. This whole thing lifts up. It doesn't seem to want to close all the way though. There's like a little bit of a gap, which is a little annoying. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Before bed, open that. Open up back three and build the next day. Alright, so here is the mini thing that we just built. The news reporter, journalist. Looks pretty good with his mic and his suit. And he looks very happy to be covering the mech coverage. So there we go. We just finished step 133. We attached the first part of the arm. This is like the bicep, I guess. It just bends like that. And then this thing goes up like that. And then you can shoot the little foot missiles out. Back four. Take it down. We got both of these done now. 
Pack five. So I'm trying to get this piece in here, and like, I need like super small fingers. I I don't have like big fingers or anything like that, but I can't wedge my thumb in there to get the leverage I need to push it in. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this in here. I know it seems hard. It 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 is hard. Ah. Good news and bad news. The good news is this part of the, the build, the next part of the build is done. I've got these little pieces on here. The bad news is I had two extra pieces that I'm sure I just missed, so I have to go back and figure out where I missed those. Yay! It wasn't too bad, so on this piece right here, it just goes right here. So, not a big deal. Bag number six. We got the hands all done. Looks really cool. That just is a great way to sort of shape those fingers. I love it. I love it so much. That's awesome. attached correctly because it's kind of going back. I don't know if that's the right angle, but I guess we'll see. I think that's right. We got another mini fig for ya. Bag seven. Stable than I thought it was gonna be. Last bag, bag eight.
We are all done. All done. So the set is all finished, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour. I have to back up quite a bit here because just of the immense scale of this thing, it is really, really big. I'm kind of shocked at how big. But let's just go over it real quick. Let me show you the minifigs. First we've got the bad dudes. We've got this guy who has like a crab helmet. He looks really awesome. This one has a great mustache, really liking him. I like the journalist here. He also has a good mustache and that cool mic accessory. And then this is, I forget her name. My son would know, but uh, I believe it is Lloyd's mother in the show or in the movie. So she's pretty cool. Although I hate her little skirt piece there, the little fabric piece. I don't know if I just put it on wrong, but it is not sitting well on there. I might need to readjust that. And then of course we have Cole up here in the cockpit. So let me just show you a little bit. Actually, let's start in the cockpit. So first we've got the little horns that look like a samurai helmet. We've got a whole bunch of spotlights all over this thing. Cole is in here and apparently he uses the turntable to move the mech, which is really cool. We've got loudspeakers all over the place on either side. We have these things that can open up. These are flick fire missiles, so those can shoot out. So speakers on this side. We've got speakers on this side. And then these can rotate up like that, the shoulders. They can't go down anymore, but they can rotate up. And then these joints right here can move back and forth and up and down for the hands. Now I want to show you these hands real quick. I love these hands. These are just the coolest hands ever. So they're posable. You can move them all around. You can kind of close it up like that. You can open it up. Uh, it just looks really cool. I mean, you could even... Whoa! So one thing about this set is it's not exactly sturdy left to right. <laughs> not the sturdiest set that I've ever seen. What I was trying to do is you could even kind of turn it this way, close them up, have it look like that. There's lots you can do in terms of posing these hands. You can even stick something in there and attach it to those studs right there so that it's holding it. Really, really great use of those, um, those fingers. We have the giant wheel here. And so it's sitting back on this bar that we've built, which is actually really nice. You can't really see it from the front very much. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, you've got the banners. Let me show you the banners. You have the banners here that say Quake and then the gorilla on either side. So again, I didn't really realize how, how much of a gorilla theme there is for this set, but I really, really enjoy it. I really like it. So yeah, then you when you're playing, you can you know, sort of do this and have it drive around and then it can go back and balance and does its thing. So yeah, that is the Quake Mech. I am pleasantly surprised. It's a great little set and it'll be a great addition to our Ninjago movie line. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the build. Please let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below and also down in the comment section below. Tell me, if you were to design a mech, any kind of Lego mech after an animal, what would the animal be? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.